Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Evan with Pod Peak, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Novation Launchpad Mini to control Reaper. Let's get into it. Welcome to Pod Peak, where I talk about recording, editing, and sound design for music production, podcasts, and films. If you're new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure and ding that bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. So last year, I made a video giving an overview of how I use a Novation Launchpad Mini to control Reaper. And if you're wondering what a Launchpad Mini is, well, it's a MIDI controller. You can use it to make beats, play chords, or in my case, initiating actions or custom actions in Reaper. And if you wanna learn more about the Launchpad Mini or any other Novation products, head on over to novationmusic.com. You can find out everything you need to know there. And one last note before we get into this tutorial. I'm gonna be demonstrating how to set up this Launchpad Mini on a Mac. Hopefully most of what I show you will apply to PC users as well, but just in case, keep that in mind. All right, let's check it out. So if you're purchasing a new or used Launchpad, the first thing you'll need to do is head on over to novationmusic.com and either log in or make a new account. As you can see, I already have an account. If you're buying your products brand new, you can register them here, and your bundled software or drivers will show up here as well. If you buy your product used and for some reason you can't register it, you can go to the product support and select Novation. From there, select Downloads. From there, select your product. In our case, it's a Launchpad Mini MK3, and the appropriate downloads will show up. If you're a PC user, you'll need to download and install drivers, if you're a Mac user, no driver is necessary. Next, we'll need to download the Components Desktop application. And this is important, is this is a software where you'll program the Launchpad. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. So I'm gonna connect my Launchpad USB cable to my computer. And instantly, this icon will pop up, showing that my hardware is connected to the computer. Now I'm gonna to go to my Applications folder and select Components. From here, you'll see a list of all the Novation products. Choose Launchpad Mini. This will take you to what's called Librarian. Librarian is where you can upload Novation pre-made custom modes or presets, or you can create your own custom modes, which is what I'm gonna demonstrate right now. But before we do that, you're gonna to wanna to sign in to Components and make sure your Launchpad Mini is connected. It looks like I'm good to go. So as you can see, I've already created my own custom mode. It's called Custom Actions, and this is my main setup that I use every day. But we're gonna build a custom mode from the ground up, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new custom mode. Next, you'll see a blank template. This is an exact replica of your Launchpad Mini, and this is where we'll assign data and colors. Now on the right-hand side, we'll see widgets and settings. The first thing we'll do is assign each pad a widget, and the widgets control what the pads do. For example, they can be faders or sliders, chromatic or scale keyboards, drum grids, MIDI notes, program change, or a CC button. For my Reaper setup, I use the program change widget. That said, if you're a Launchpad user and you use this to control Reaper, I'd be really interested to see if you do it a different way. Let me know in the comments below. To assign a widget, simply drag and drop. And just to make sure I don't lose my work, I'm gonna save as, which will prompt me to give the custom mode a name. We'll call it Reaper Template. Now that all my pads are set to program change, I need to go into settings and assign each pad a program number. Starting in the bottom left-hand corner, I'm just gonna go through and number each pad zero to 63. Once I've done this, I'm gonna save again. And since we've already saved it and named it, this time we'll hit Overwrite. And finally, we're gonna assign some custom colors. Just click on the pad, assign a color, and you're good to go. When you've finished adding your custom colors, now it's time to send the custom mode to your Launchpad. Choose Send to Launchpad Mini, and you'll be given the option to save it to one of your Launchpad's three custom mode presets. We'll choose number two. Okay, so here's my desktop with my actual Launchpad on the left and Components app open on the desktop. You'll see that they look exactly the same. 
So let's go ahead and open Reaper and assign some actions to the launchpad. But first, let's open the preferences and under MIDI, let's make sure your launchpad is recognized and enabled. Okay. Now I wanna create two buttons to mute and solo my tracks. We'll open up the actions list and in the filter search toggle mute for selected tracks. We'll select the action and click add. Then on the launchpad, I'll press the button I want to assign. You can see it added it. So now let's add another action to toggle solo. In the filter, type toggle solo selected. Select the action and choose add. Press the button you want to use on the launch pad. And again, you can see that it added it. So now you can see the buttons toggle mute and solo on my track. Pretty cool. So let's bring the components app back up and change a color. I want my mute button to be red. So I'll click it, choose red, and you can see that it changed it. I'm gonna keep my solo button yellow. Now I'll choose save, overwrite, and then we'll send it to the Launchpad Mini. Choose custom mode two, and we're good to go. So let's do one more. I wanna create a button for my mixer window. Open up the actions list. In the filter, type toggle mixer. Select it, choose add, press the button, and you can see it added it. When I press the assign button, it toggles my mixer window on and off. But I also wanna change the color. So let's bring up the components again, select the button, we'll choose a blue, click save, overwrite, send it to the launch pad, and there you can see, it's updated the color for my mixer window button. So there you have it. If you're like me and you like to take kind of more of a hands-on approach in your production workflow, an Ovation Launchpad Mini is a great way to execute actions and custom actions in Reaper. If you wanna upload the basic template that I've created here in this tutorial, I've left a download link for it down in the links below and uh, you're welcome to use it. Also in my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make custom buttons for the Launchpad Mini. So make sure and keep your eyes open for that. All right, well, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure and like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure and ding that bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. All right, take care of yourselves, folks. We will see you next time. Peace out.